On Tuesday, July 30th, a major development was made in the murder case of Amber Spradlin. 408 days after her death, three suspects have been arrested, including 24-year-old M.K. McKinney, who was charged for murder. A press conference was held that evening in Prestonsburg, where the community continues to show their support for Amber's family after all this time. I am elated right now. I am so thrilled that uh, we finally got to see these days, uh, this day of arrests. Um, these people have been running around for 13 months like they didn't do a single thing, and uh, now they can't deny it. They're, they have to face up to it, and everybody in the community knows now, too. It's been overwhelming. Everybody, had, since this started, has been so good. And uh, our Justice for Amber group, we've got over 25,000 people in there. And just the fact that so many people have taken this to heart and they feel uh, connected and they want to see justice. And they've kept me going and kept the whole family motivated and, and kept our spirits up. So it, it's just, it's amazing. You know, we told them we were having a conference at uh, just about an hour or two beforehand. And I don't know, there's probably 30, 40, 50 people out there. So. We have a good community and a good group of people in our Justice for Amber group. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Arraignment for the three suspects will be taking place tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the Floyd County Justice Center. Amber's family and the community will continue to fight for her and honor her legacy. I would like to see MK held with no bond. And of course, I'd like to see Mike and Josh Mullins with as high of a bond as possible. Um, I'm probably certain that they will get a bond and be able to get out. But at least if we can keep MK in jail. He's a dangerous person. He doesn't need to be out in the community with people. I would like to see uh, successful convictions for these three. There's a few others that I feel like probably have some responsibility and um, there's not been any charges made. That's just my personal opinion that there are some others that are involved and I'm hoping that maybe uh, these three that didn't want to talk before, they might be willing to talk a little bit now to find out if there actually were other people involved with the uh, cover up and getting rid of evidence. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.